here. Laid back Dave here. It's uh, March 18th, 2015. Just heading out uh, on a little late winter adventure. Heading westbound on Highway 17 right now towards Pembroke. And then I'll be crossing the Ottawa River up into Quebec. Plan is to uh, snowshoe or hike into uh, Wazo Rock, which is a cliff on the shores, the north shore of the Ottawa River, on the Quebec side of the river. Normally it's accessible primarily by boat in the summertime. People uh, boat in there from Petawawa or Deep River. And uh, look at the towering cliffs that come out of the Ottawa River. But I'm going to try to hike in there. I think there's a trail from the uh, Quebec side. Well, I'm underway. Sled's going along behind me there. I'll load it up like a garage sale. And I must say I'm starting on a hell of a hill. I know it's very hilly, mountainous back where I'm going. I was hoping I'd be able to drive to the top of this hill where there's a potential trail into the woods at least to get me started, but oh well, it's a beautiful day. I'm just down to where my, uh, got my merino wool underwear on. Two layers down below, pants and long johns, but I think I might have to lose a layer depending how long this hill is. Anyway, I'll catch up on making some progress up Mountain Road. It's uh, quite steep and lots of uh, more uphills than down, which hopefully pays off uh, when I come out in a couple of days. But uh, here's a bit of video of it. Pretty nice, very mountainous. It's nice when you're going down. A little tough going up, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. I'd say it's uh, maybe five degrees and uh, not too sunny, so you don't get these hot, too hot when you're pulling. Anyway, I'll update you later. Well, a little two hours, a little over two hours into the walk, I finally finished the mountain road and uh, got to where the trail starts, or at least. Uh, it's a trail on the map. It's not really a trail in the winter time. Nobody's been here. But uh, I switched into the snowshoes uh, because when I first stepped off into here, that was my uh, result down uh, to about mid thigh. And uh, so I just put the snowshoes on and uh, the snowshoes don't sink at all. So all is well. It's been a good workout considering this is where I thought I was going to park and I'm two hours. Uh, Two hours of pretty hard pulling to get to here, but uh, it's a beautiful day, so I can't complain. Not a, not a, another person in sight, and uh, loving it so far. We'll talk to you later. Got a spot where I think I'm going to uh, set up camp. I'm not going to make it to the Wazo Rock today. This trail that I was hoping for, and, uh, there's not much of a trail in the snow conditions in my sled and a combination of everything makes the bushwhacking impossible. The sled tips and there's no good for uh, for this type of terrain, but I'm happy having fun anyway. So I'm gonna set up a base camp here, um, get all settled in, make a fire, and, and uh, just relax for the rest of the afternoon and evening. And leave camp here tomorrow, uh, leave it all set up, and then just set out on a day hike and see if I can uh, 
make it out to the uh, to the trail. Yeah, funny thing, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I've been hiking for a couple hours in the in the woods and on that mountain road, and I still have cell service, so that's that's uh, checking in from home. All is well. Anyway, this is camp. Well, I'm just gonna check out some trees for hanging the hammock in, and uh, where I'm gonna set my fire, and uh, I'll update you later. broken strap on my snowshoe. Good thing I've rubbed my other ones. I got two pairs with me. Just the other side of the small one, so I'll probably be doing a bit of sinking anyway. But anyway, tarp and hammock are set up. A little bit of a trial and error getting that sorted out, but uh, all is good. Camp is taking shape. Next thing I'll uh, dig a fire pit. Hey, how you and doing? I'll take a little later. Been in camp a couple hours now. Uh, it's a uh, little past four, almost actually it's ten minutes to five. Longer days we have now, more time in the afternoons. It's beautiful out, uh, probably right around freezing point this afternoon. Anyway, camp's looking good. I got uh, I got the GoPro, or the GoPro, I got the GoPro camera going. And I got my BioLite stove, just melting some snow, get some water for supper. I got a little fire made, uh, upside down, big stuff on the bottom, little stuff on the top, and lots of birch bark for a fire a little bit later. I'm not, I didn't make a lot of wood, didn't prepare much. I don't plan on sitting around the fire for long, but it's nice for a little while once it cools off to have a fire going. So I got that. Hammock and tarps all set up. And uh, my broken snowshoe's a bit of a problem. I do have my, I put my small ones on, as you can see down there. They're working pretty good around camp, uh, but I did go for a little hike around. And uh, with the warmer weather, the snow's getting a lot much softer and these smaller shoes um, sinking quite a bit, lots of post holing, so I'll have to see what tomorrow brings, the temperature, and if I'll be able to uh, carry on with my hike as planned to try to find Wazo Rock, Rock Wazo, and uh, if I can't uh, make it because of the snow conditions and small snowshoes, I'll change my plan and, uh, and do something else. But anyway, that's how we are doing today. I will catch up with you later. So in case you don't know, the BioLite is a handy little power generating stove. It's got a battery system here uh, and a fan that the, this blows air into the burn chamber, uh, which when it's burning well doesn't smoke like this, so that means I let it burn down too much. And then the twigs I just put in are just getting going. But it's a handy little gadget, um, produces enough electricity to recharge your phone or your GPS. I don't have anything charging right now, I didn't use much today. Uh, so I don't have much need to plug anything in But it's a it's a handy little stove. I like cooking with it. I don't have to carry a fuel tank I just use sticks and, and twigs around the camp And most of my cooking I don't need to simmer anything. I just cook with water most of my meals are uh, Either MREs or dehydrated food. I'm switching to dehydrated food. I got my own dehydrator now, so uh, most of my food, I I cook food at home. There you can see it just, just uh, lit up there much better. Most of my food I, I make and then I dehydrate it. So tonight I'm having some chili that I made uh, a couple of months ago. I dehydrate a bunch of it and then keep it in the freezer in, in uh, vacuum sealed bags. Anyway, that's just a little, little update on the BioLite stove in case you didn't know what it was. I think the last I left you at, I was just getting ready to cook my chili and the uh, GoPro battery 
either died or froze up on me. Anyway, things stopped working and I didn't have a chance to get the battery recharged again. Or not recharged, but changed out until I finished my supper and got changed and dressed up for cold for winter or for night. Anyway, it's uh, 7.30 almost. And I've wrapped up the day. Just a quick summary. Um, BioLake uh, cooked my supper. Chili, had a couple of cups of hot chocolate to warm up. Boiled uh, two liters of water on the BioLake for, uh, for my uh, water bottles. And I, uh, so I put the nice hot water bottles in my sleeping bag so they're over in the hammock. Hopefully keeping the sleeping bag warm before I crawl into it in the next little while. Just enjoying the fire. Got a little fire going for a while. Going to listen to an audio book and uh, just relax for the evening. I will catch up with you again in the morning when I wake up and show you how I did through the night. The forecast is for minus 15 overnight, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. Thursday morning, it's about uh, around seven, around seven o'clock. Uh, had a okay night. I've been in bed for about 11 hours. Hope you can see me. I don't know how much light there is. It's certainly light outside. I think it got at least down to the advertised minus 15 last night. I don't have the thermometer with me, so I can't confirm the temperature, but it's uh, it's frosty, and I'm about one, I'd say one sleeping bag layer short of comfortable. So it was a cool night. Not unbearable, although uh, I'm sure happy that I put them two heated Nalgene bottles uh, with boiling water into the sleeping bag before bed. That uh, made a huge difference. Those stayed warm nearly all night long. I was surprised by that. I'm pleasantly surprised. I would say they stayed warm for a good eight hours. Six six hours of, of really nice and warm and then a few hours of just uh, snuggling into them to, to make it a bit more comfortable. Anyway, I'm about to get up and uh, start my day. I'm going to use a little alcohol stove and get some breakfast and coffee on the go. I'll catch up with you later. Glad packed up for the short trip to the road where I can then take my snowshoes off and just hike and uh, so I'll kind of update you on the hike that's where I'm at so far I'm not staying here I'm not gonna make it to uh, Wizzo Rock with my snowshoe condition with my broken big shoe and these small ones as I said earlier uh, sink through the snow as it warms up this morning it's not bad when it's still really cold but it's gonna be a quite a warm day up to uh, above freezing so I don't want to get hiking in the nice crusty stuff this morning towards the rock, which is back behind you. Um, it's about five kilometer hike to get there. I could probably make it, um, but as the snow warmed and I'd be sinking, I'd be post holing um, potentially for five kilometers back. And uh, that doesn't sound like fun to me, so I'm not going to bother. So it was O Rock, you've uh, done it to me again. I'm not going to make it. The last time I tried was a kayak back in the fall. Uh, from Deep River, I tried to go down and the weather, the wind conditions were too bad for the amount of time I had to do the 15 kilometers there and back with the 15 kilometers back into the wind. So anyway, I will uh, make a spring trip in the kayak to finally make it to the, to the big rock. Talk to you later. about finishing up the hike I'm on the last uh, the last downhill which is a steep part what was horrible yesterday is uh, quite nice today anyway it couldn't be nicer today this is beautiful it was a great little trip out of the woods and uh, here's the end of the road right down there is the bottom hopefully there's a van waiting for me hope you enjoyed my uh, little adventure have a good one. We'll see you next time.